Hello, hello, this is UCLA Pack here, just wanting to talk about setting up an ideal defense and um, just emblem placement where where um, you should focus on. Um, I realize everyone doesn't have the same heroes, but um, we should cover the the main tanks in the game and, and uh, how you would build your team around that. So, um, first off... I want to talk about emblem placements. When looking at your defense, they're going to be getting the the most emblems. So you're going to want to emblem different classes. Um, so right now the obvious choice would be Teleria as a paladin. So you wouldn't want to put Clarissa in as a paladin as well because... Um, you won't be able to emblem her up. Most defenses, you want to see max emblems to get the, the best effect, and then you do your supporting around them. So who you choose as your as your main tank is going to affect who you choose as your flanks, and then who, who you choose as your wings. So that's how I would start off, and that's how I would place emblems. So um, just to get us started, the tank selection is who I would choose first because that is the most important in your defense. So, um, when looking at a tank, we'll just take Teleria for example, because she is the best tank in the game still, even with the nerf. Um, her, her stats are ridiculously high. Her, even her, her special is still good. So if you're looking to to tank someone, Teleria, if you have her, that's your best option. Um, if you choose Teleria, then you're, you're married to this paladin right here, and, um, you won't be able to, I wouldn't choose a flank or a wing as, as a paladin, just because you want that defense to be high. So, if you have Teleria, I would tank Teleria. Um, if you do not have Teleria, the second best tank in the game is still Gwyn. Gwyn has got pretty decent stats. Um, the mana reducing is killer. If you can, if she goes off, it basically gives you very little time to to recover um, because she keeps stealing your mana. So one of the the biggest things in in raiding is getting your special off. If you can't get your special off, you're just gonna slowly die. So. Guinevere, number two, um, she's not as easy to get, so, um, yeah, she, she may not be, be an option for most people. Um, number three option that I would choose is Ursina, another one that's not really readily available to anyone. Um, Ursina, though, is a really good tank. Um, she does a lot of damage with emblems. It kind of beefs her up a little bit, but that's also a downside is she doesn't have a ton of defense and health like Teleria, so she can be taken down kind of easy. I like the, the holy, um, reflect though, so if you, it deters you from bringing yellows to her, um, but Ursina is a really good tank for purple. Um, Gravemaker is a... Is another good tank position um, just because he's very fast and he starts that burn it's hard to recover from if you can't get a special he's not he doesn't do as much damage as Ursina so um, not quite as good but Gravemaker is still a really good option to have as a tank um, let's see you're wanting someone that has some of the very slows, like Alfreich and Boss with Wolf, would be really good tanks. Um, just because if they go off, it's it's really hard to recover from that. Um, Kunchen used to be an okay tank. He doesn't do he doesn't do enough, in my opinion, um, to make him extravagant. So he's kind of gone down. But if your options are limited, he's not too bad. Um, even the bleeper, <laughs> he's, if you're, if you don't have any of the ones that I stated above, um, he could, he could do decent if, if they don't have a dispeller, um, 
I wasn't a fan of him as a tank. I didn't think that he did a great job, but um, he's an option. Um, Ares, he used to be number one tank in the game before Gwyn. He's still pretty good. Um, he's another paladin, so if you emblem him up, he's he's a little more tanky. So not a not a bad selection if you have Ares as well. Um, old school Aslar. Um, he's not too bad as a tank either if you get a special off. Um, Horde Hall is another one that that if you get a special off, he wasn't too bad, but not not too much of a fan of them anymore. Um, Richard wasn't too bad as a tank if your options are really limited. Um, Richard with the the lower def the lower attack kind of helps and he he hits pretty hard so he wasn't a terrible tank back in the back in the day either. I still see see Richard every now and then being in the tank position. Um, if you don't have any any uh, five stars, some of the four star options are pretty good. I let's see, she might be an interesting tank because of her fast cleanse and then defense. Um, that could be an interesting option. Um, you're kind of looking at the defense stats as well. Um, when I was starting off, I thought she did a really good job as a tank because she's kind of like the, the Gwen. She takes your mana away and you can't get a special. Um, but with the release of all these these new new four stars, it's it's really hard to say. Um, but you're wanting you're wanting someone that can can almost stop stop specials from happening and then it also has the tank stats so this right here is the definition of what you want to look for as for a tank um just because it stops it stops almost stops your specials onatel was another good one hell hell's not t terrible if her defense stats were better um but you want that mana gen is is what makes her really good and her her stats so um say we're since since it's me we'll we'll use teleria as our tank so then our next point is we'd want to emblem our our tank up so they can take as much hit as they can because once you kill that tank then you have the option to ghost so you want your tank to to stand strong um, then you choose your flanks. So I can't use a paladin, but um, flanks I want something to be quick and I want them to do quite a bit of damage. So the best flank in the game, if you have them, is Gravemaker. So Gravemaker is very fast and he starts that burn early. So if he if he's firing, it's it's hard to recover from. You need a cleanser. So it's important to always bring a flank that is going to cause someone to need to bring a cleanser. Um, because you're going to get that, that damage started. And if they don't get a cleanse, then it just is, it's almost game over. So that's why you see Gravemaker being so good is because he starts the burn early and then it's hard to recover if you can't get a cleanse. Um, another person that, that really pairs well with Gravemaker is Vela because she starts the water damage early. So it's gonna, so you're, you're getting a lot of dot damage, um, which I really kind of like as the flank area and, it, and it's happening fast. So you could even, I'm not, we couldn't, we couldn't do Clarissa. She'd have the same effect because she's a paladin. Um, we couldn't do another grave maker, which would be crazy, but because he's the same, you can't emblem him up. So Vela is a really good option there. Um, and you see that constantly, how good Vela is. And she's, she's a, uh, a druid, so she fits well into it. When, when, uh, Teleria came out, I thought 
no, she needs, <laughs> she needs to be a druid, so you can't use Vela in it, but, uh, unfortunately, they chose Paladin, which made her even more tanky, so, um, and then it just paired well with Vela. So, Vela by herself isn't overpowered by any means, but she, she, uh, pairs very well as a flank to Teleria. Um, I think she would pair, pair well with Gwyn, though, too, to be honest. Um, anyone that starts the damage early and it's hard to, hard to recover from is a good flank. So, another really good one. I don't have emblems on him. Drake does a really good job as being a flank. Um, as a tank, I guess you could choose him as a tank as well, but, um, his job is much better as a flanker on the wing, just because you get that blind damage on, and it's hard to recover from. You also need a cleanse from that, they can't get their specials off, so Drake does a really good job at being a, a flank hero. Um, let's see, there are a lot of heroes that are mainly just attack heroes, that I wouldn't put there. Um, I do like the ones that hit multiple. I don't really like putting snipers on defense. So if you if you had say if you don't have Grave Maker, you've got Barbarian Emblem somewhere else. Um, you could go with alternatives like Rogue is is a really good class to use um, because they they can evade specials. So. Kestrel, he hits three. He's not too bad as a as a flank. Or let's see, you want someone fast though, or very fast in the flank position because they start the damage. Uh, let's see, and someone that hits multiple. So Musashi wouldn't be a bad a bad person there as well. Um, I really do like Drake. I've seen Panther there. I'm not a huge fan of Panther just because she's a little squishy. Um, and doesn't do enough damage. Let's see. Cage, I've seen him there before. He's just a sniper, though. So, And he um, is a barbarian as well, so he doesn't pair well with Gravemaker. Um, you could... Let's see. If you're not tanking Ursina, Ursina is a really good flank because she does so much damage. She's a little slower which I'm not a huge fan of, but if she goes off, she goes off <laughs> really good. So I like, I like Ursina there. I actually like Magni there too, because Magni, costume Magni, not regular Magni, um, because he does that shield down. So he's going to start the, the pain on that. So he wouldn't be a bad um, flank position hero. I've seen Zimkitha there. She's not too bad. She will um, start the, most of these heroes should be on this side, because you want their special to run first, so, um, Zim Zimkitha has that attack boost, so she would make a good flank position as well, um, some heroes just are not meant for defense, you can do, like, the, I've seen people do, like, the family defenses, which pirates had a really fun one, um, but then you'd have to have all of them, and you'd have to emblem them all. So the the pirate the pirates really aren't the best on defense. Like her her stats aren't aren't the best. So I wouldn't use her. But um, Zeline used to be a decent tank and on flank as well. Um, but if you're using Teleria, it doesn't really work, just because her her negative attack detour specials. So that helps a lot. Um, White Rabbit wasn't a bad, wasn't bad as a, as a flank position. He, the lower defense is really good for that role. And then you could follow it up with, with a hitter. Um, let's see. Yeah, the, I wouldn't use the snipers and I usually stay away from average heroes. Um, I wouldn't go for any slow heroes on the flank position just because they probably won't, they won't be set off. They won't have that time. Uh, Jean isn't so bad if you don't have Gravemaker because he does start the burn and he does protect a little bit. Um, but he, he's easily countered by like a Melosi. Same with 
Black Knight. Black Knight was really good as a flank, but then Melosi came out and he just kind of stops that special altogether. So, um, still not a bad flank because he takes the, the brunt of the hits if he goes off and then raises the attack. So, um, those are probably who I would, I would flank. I don't really have too many. I would, in, uh, raid tournaments and things like that, very fast is a good flank. So, um, you could go with, I call him microwave. Microwave isn't, isn't bad as a, as a flank just because of the, the fastness. Um, this guy's a good tank for, because of his stats for the, the four star tournaments, raid tournaments. Um, she wouldn't be terrible because she's very fast. I've flanked Buddy before. He's not too bad because he lowers the, the defense and, and gives minion help. So I kind of like that. I've flanked Hansel before because of his, his mana. Um, poor old now would make a pretty good tank for the four star tournaments. Uh, he does a lot of damage, Colin, but he's, his stats aren't as tanky, so those are some for, for four stars as well. Um, so we'll just go with my best here. So I would emblem those three with, with that, and then I choose my wings. I'm kind of the same way with my wings. I don't like, I don't like people that hit just one. I want... If, if say you're the person attacking you has like four up and their, their health is kind of low, I'm going to want them to be hit by my wing with multiple, like I want everyone to get hit, not just one. And so say Drake, Drake hits three, um, he's going to blind, which isn't as, as big of a deal, but it does help. Um, so if you have three people standing and he's going to get a special off, those three po people are probably going to die. Whereas if you put like, say a costume June or regular June there, he's only going to kill one, which gives them time to fire back and, and kill you. So, um, I'm not a huge fan of snipers on the wing with the, or, or anywhere on defense for that matter, with the exception of C-Shot. C-Shot is a good wing. She, she, uh, the minions are just hard to kill. So she, she makes herself very tanky if she keeps going off. And then also the debuff really helps. Um, so she's just, if she's the one last standing, she's just hard to kill. You can't kill her with your specials half the time. So with the exception of her, I like, I like people that hit everyone on the wings. Um, who I have now, I have kill hair because if kill hair goes off, she's going to take out your whole team. Um, I like her on the wing as opposed to the flank position because of that negative effect that she has. Um, when she does the negative effect, it's going to help the def the offense kill your defense that much quicker. So if she fires last, she's going to clean everybody um, with her special because it's so devastating. And then that negative effect doesn't really matter. I also like that she's a fighter because she can res. Um, back in the Gwyn era when you saw every single Kingston there was as a wing, which I didn't really like Kingston as a wing, but as a fighter, he never dies. So, um, I would like to have kill hair special do the same thing where if she reses she can wipe out a whole team so i really like kill hair as a wing hero um let's see another good wing hero to have um zimkitha wouldn't be terrible i'm not she doesn't do enough damage though 
Um, I use Musashi a lot because of his attack stat. His attack stats might be the highest I've seen. Um, I know with emblems you could probably get other people higher, but um, it's very high for for him. And then he hits three, so kind of like the Drake effect, he's going to hit three. White Rabbit is also another good one to be on the wing. Um, I guess it's worth mentioning the best wing that I've seen is Jabberwock. I don't have him, but um, his special is pretty devastating. It, it can wipe you out pretty quick. So Jabberwock is, you, you see that in, in most of the up, upper level defenses. Um, Jabberwock's really good. I try to keep the wings fast, though. Um, and not so much snipers. So, let's see. Which your options are a little more limited. Um, Kestrel would be a good wing to have because he hits three. Um, not a huge fan of the snipers. Um, you'll see him. I was purposely skipping over him. Um, you'll see him in the wing position an awful lot because... Is he's kind of like kill here in my mind if if he, because most people do have buffs so if he goes off he's gonna be devastating so this is actually my defense right now um, is these because I've got my and their emblems all work together well so I have them all emblemed up so they're very beefy um, very hard to take Teleria down Gravemaker Vela starts that that initial dot damage and would cause them to need a cleanse. Um, if Finley goes off, he's going to really hurt the team. And then if Killhair goes off, she's going to wipe the team out almost completely usually. So um, very tough defense to, to face in my mind. If I had Jabberwock, she, he'd probably be a little better than Killhair, be, mainly because of speed. But uh, Killhair is a... A decent option in my mind for, for and it's it's kind of showed in in um my what I wake up to every morning with cups so um I also want to touch a little bit on colors um I do have two blues in here I'm not a huge fan of setting up defenses with the same colors but that is is the option that I had for this. Um, you could do a yellow. You could do Musashi. I've done that every now and then just just to see what what it does. Just um, Finley special is so much better, but it seems like Rainbow works better than than um, putting two colors together. Because say say I did take this one. Um, if you go mono green or, or something to that sort, or bring a Mitsuko even, um, I've got two heroes that are going to be weak to the, to that color. So, um, you get a couple tiles up against my, my, uh, two blues and you can probably knock them out pretty quick. So it's, it's better to go rainbow um, but with, with these heroes being so good, um, there is an exception. So, um, there is that, but, but most of the time I try to go all different colors just, just to make the attack team not so, so good against you. Um, let's see, because you don't want to... You don't want to make any strong colors for them to bring. It's just, it's just saying, hey, bring, bring greens against me. One, one thing that, that helps me with that is Grave Maker because Grave Maker does extra damage on green, so he can make you, he can punish you that much more if you bring green. So, um, he's he definitely works well with the the double blue there um, defense. Uh, let's see. Mana speed is, is big. Emblem class is big. Once you get your emblems on the defense, then 
I what I do is I work on my offense. So I pick out the defense that I want and then I choose emblems based off of who I want to take as an attacker. So there are some people that so say costume rig are awesome attacker. So I want to take I want to put my excess emblems on him or if I'm not using cleric I'm gonna fill up my costume regards because they're good. The more emblems you can get on your attack teams the the more survivability you're gonna have so um and then it's also nice if you can use your defense on attack also so I'm in love with this this guy so um, I put my excess emblems on him. I really like her. She's really good on attack. I put my excess emblems on her just to get, I've got emblems, even a couple emblems help, um, with these Mitsuku with, with the sorcerer class that really helps because it slows down mana. So, um, if the, if that triggers, hey, that's, that's awesome. So, Excess emblems on on attackers is is helpful if they're not going to be on your defense. But I wouldn't I wouldn't um, put just on everybody equally. I would put defense first and then attack. So um, yeah, that is setting up your ideal defense. I I am lucky that I have um, in my mind one of the better defenses. Um, aside from not having Jabberwock, but I think with Kill Hair, I don't really even need him, but, but yeah, hopefully that helps. Thanks guys.